particular access door allows us to get to the holding tank for the toilet. By depressing these two buttons we can release the door. The door hangs freely. Now to remove the waste holding tank, we simply lift this handle up in the air and we pull the waste holding tank forward, whereby releasing it from its cavity. As you can see here, we have a wheel each side of the waste holding tank and a handle at the front which we can extend. This allows us to take this to a dumping point and empty it out. Being that it's 20 odd litres of fluid in there, it's quite heavy to carry. So Thetford have made it quite easily to move about. When we're finished, we push the handle down back into its position. We open this up here. We can rinse it out if we wish, which is a good idea. We open this up. We put the desired amount of chemical in this cap to full. We pour that into here. We then add two litres of water, especially if we're using solids in this toilet. If we're only doing number ones, not so necessary, but definitely number twos, we must add two litres of water. Screw the cap down, close it up, give it a shake, and slide it back in. When we go do the emptying process, we open this up, we take the handle like so, we hold onto the back of the toilet like so, we depress this button, and we turn it up and we tip the contents of the tank out into the waste disposal system. Okay, when we're finished, as I said, simply replace the cap, screw it up, turn it, take the whole cassette after we've added our chemical and our desired amount of fluid, slide it back into its place, close the door, job done.